Hey guys, time for another weekly vlog. And as you may have noticed, I'm wearing something a little bit different from what I've been wearing for the past few weeks. Uh, with the exception of Halloween, I guess. Um, yeah, new hoodie that I got from thinkgeek.com. It's a uh, Star Trek uniform, um, obviously. Here's a full image. So yeah, this has just been like a week of getting packages for me. So um, I'll go over all the other stuff that I've gotten this week later. But first I want to do a really quick movie review for Loki 2. I mean Thor 2. They might as well have called it Loki 2. Uh, anyway, uh, so Thor The Dark World. I believe it's The Dark World and not Dark World. Anyway, went to see it on Friday in 3D IMAX. Um, I mean, it was a discount price, so why not? Yeah, the theater that I go to, if it's the first uh, showtime for that movie of the day, sure, for, first showtime of the day for that movie, there we go, then it's a like matinee price, so why not? Okay, uh, besides I was in the area anyway. Um, Anyway, uh, so what did I think of the movie? Uh, well, I liked it, of course. <laughs> of course. I like just about every movie I see. There are a few exceptions, though. But this was not one of them. So, yay! I liked it, and uh, I, I suck at giving reviews, so I get, all I can say is that I liked it and possibly give it a rating, so I guess I'll give this, like... Eight point five out of ten. Yeah, yeah, I really enjoyed it, but it wasn't like spectacular, spectacular. So, uh, eight point five. Yeah, that will do. Okay, so today ends week two of broadcasting school, and so far I am still definitely loving my time there. Uh, I'm learning a lot uh, in a relatively short amount of time, uh, which is awesome because I really do not want to sit in a lecture hall. For like a week, uh, well, yeah, yeah, I guess so. A week um, learning an entire chapter without ever practicing anything that I learned. So, uh, yay! This I should have done this eleven years ago. I really should have. Uh, anyway, so yeah, uh, school is going well. Uh, this week we learned. What did we learn this week? This week, uh, we covered Final Cut Pro. All right, that's one. We covered Final Cut Pro. We covered, um, uh, I guess it was a DJ uh, Basics, I think. Uh, so, DJ stuff. Um, what else? Uh, today we did... Uh, Audition again, um, more in depth. Um, there should be one other thing. Well, what was it? What was that one other thing? Oh yeah, that's right. Next gen. Um, the software that, or a similar software to what radio stations use to program in their schedules. Cool. Anyway. Uh, Yeah, you know, originally I was going to uh, talk about stuff that was bothering me about the class, but, you know, just, like, just let it go. Uh, Shay Carl, I'm, uh, always say, choose happiness, right? So, uh, I guess I could expand that to uh, choose uh, the positive over the negative, right? So, um, yeah, I'm just going to focus on what was positive this week and forget about the, the stuff that bothered me today. Yeah, just today. Not the rest of the week, just today. Why am I doing this? Anyway, so uh, yeah, I'm just going to focus on the positive. And uh, so that's two weeks down, another six weeks to go. Alright. Okay, now, time to take a look at the stuff that I got this week. Uh, first up, we have this lovely glass here. Don't know if you guys can see the writing on it or not. You know what? Oh, there you go. Yeah, it is the official Game of Thrones Stout 
glass designed for the Take the Black Stout beer that I got a few weeks ago. So, yay, I have a glass for the beer. Uh, now I just need to prepare the feast and I can finally open that bottle. Next up, uh, well, this hoodie, of course, uh, as I have already pointed out and showed you guys the pictures of. And up uh, after that, I was not expecting this package so soon, but new books. So, uh, Dive in the Vampire Bund, Volume 2. Um, this is a side story to Dance in the Vampire Bund. Um, obviously, Volume 2, so I've already read the first volume, so can't wait to start reading this second volume. They have another side story also. Um, that one is still on pre-order, so I'm not going to get it just yet. Uh, and, I was really surprised about this one. Uh, they have a Once Upon a Time graphics no graphic novel as well. So, cool. Can't wait to start reading this one. I think this uh, is actually kind of a uh, prequel to the uh, show itself, so um, at least I think that's what I read. Um, so can't wait to start reading that one. Now if they can just come out with the next volume of uh, Game of Thrones and the next book. Come on George R. R. Martin. Hurry up. Alright, and I think that does it for this week, but before I sign off, one final thing. Uh, once again, uh, November 29th through December 1st, Steampunk Studios is going to be at Dorian's Parlor Presents the Gilded Festival in Pennsylvania. So if you can uh, go and uh, see all the shenanigans that they're going to be putting on, that would be great. Uh, and again, uh, Steampunk Studios were... <coughs> excuse me. Steampunk Studios worked out a deal with... Uh, uh, gilded and uh, so um, use the promotional code which I will link down below and you can get five dollars off your admission uh, fee so cool right uh, so I'll uh, see you guys there and uh, talk to you guys next week and happy birthday